In this one, we are gonna be doing something fairly easy and explaining another little concept that's important. So to do this, we jump into our views and we import HTTP response redirect. So this is the method to actually redirect something. And here I am just going to, instead of do the response of hello, instead of that, I'm just gonna change it to HTTP response redirect and it's object.url. Of course, I can still do something here, which is something we probably want to do, that is monitor the clicks, but that is exactly how I do this redirect now. So I go ahead and copy this and do it in the class space view as well. We save that and we refresh. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh on here and it should take me to Google. Refresh and it takes me to Google. I go, if I go back, if I try to go back to that URL, it's gonna do that same redirect. So if we look at our URLs again, we can see in here that there's a lot of different redirects that we can actually run with. So if I did the projects one and I went to A and press enter, it's actually gonna redirect me to Coding for Entrepreneurs projects. If I went to B and did the same thing, it's going to also do the same thing. So the redirect actually works. A URL shortener in service now works. All we would have to do is change how our URLs are coming through. But Here's a big but, a huge one. <laughs> um, we have to think about the length that's going on here. So we wanna make sure our URL regular expression is just slightly better. That is, I wanna make sure that this pattern here is just only a little bit better than it is right now. I'm actually going to get rid of this trailing slash and instead I'm gonna put in some curly brackets here and I'm gonna put the min and max numbers that we actually want for our regular expression. So we had it where we set those min and max on 10 and four, right? So let's go back into, let's actually change those. I don't, I don't like how short those are. That's, that's maybe a little too short for us. So we'll change it back to six and 15. And since I made some changes, what do I have to do? This actually made changes to the models. So if I do python manage.py, make migrations, and python manage.py, migrate, because we changed the max, right? Of course, the next time you ran migrations anyway, this would come up. There wouldn't really be errors happening there, but we just wanted to make sure that the database is correct. Okay, so at least the utility function now is, has changed all of these codes. So if I go back into my URLs and think about this, I want the min and max here. So I just did six and 15. So if I do six comma 15, that means the minimum amount of characters that have to be in here is six. The maximum can be 15. Otherwise, it's just not gonna match with this pattern. So it's gonna raise a 404. And it's gonna be a different kind of 404 as we'll see in just a second. So if I go to A and just do AS, it does this 404 error, right? Let's actually save our URLs. Let's make sure our URLs are saved. And we'll try that again. And now it's a different sort of 404 error. Notice it has the actual URL patterns coming up. I'll do that with B this time so we can see that. The, just the difference in the 404 errors. I press enter. This is a us calling a 404 error. And notice it says no cur URL matching the given query. If I say A slash, now it's saying pattern is not found. It tried these patterns. It could not find it in these patterns that has everything to do with how this regular expression works. So we wanna do that same thing with our class-based view. So we do it in both places. Now this is a much better regular expression. Oh, but we can get rid of that slash. These are much better regular expressions for our specific short codes. This is really, really nice. Um, I do want to make it clear to you that we can also have a URL above here so if we put a different URL pattern above here and it said something like ABC, this and a different view, obviously, um, this right here would be hit first before the short code. So even if we had a short code that had ABC in there or whatever the relevant thing would be um, inside of there, this URL would be hit first and therefore this redirect would be hit first. This is important because if we got rid of that first A, we could still write some of our own things. So like about and admin will still be used where short code is not gonna assume that these are short codes and then run some errors. Where if I put, let's say about three 
And I'll just put it as the redirect view and we'll see. Actually, nothing's probably gonna happen there, but um, well, let's let's just create a just a standard view, just a really quick one. And we'll say do test view. And it's gonna take your request and it's gonna return HTTP response, some stuff. Okay, so we go back into our URL and we're gonna in, in, bring in test view. And I'm gonna put this about here. All right, so I've got that. And let's just call it about one, two, three, because that will fit in a short code, right? So we go back into our URLs and we just type out about one, two, three, press enter, some stuff shows up. Now, if I change the ordering of these patterns and put this down here and refresh now, up, oh, it's still not doing it. Let's see, six. And we, oh, I know why. So if we actually add in these trailing slashes here um, and we refresh in here, it's now saying page not found. Um, and it's saying cur mat no cur URL matches the given query. But of course, if I move this back up, then it will bring me back to that about uh, page or that test view. So that's that's rather important as far as how these patterns are, are run. So they start from the top and go bottom. So as soon as they find a matching pattern, that's where they stop. Um, this is also important because of how our short code works. This is more accurately how it's gonna be. We might have a few other pages on here, but really the short code the redirect function should be last. That should be the very, very last thing that actually is rendered on our page. Um, and including, I mean, especially if we just wanted to have it slash uh, my short code, which is what you would want it to be. That's important about the patterns. Okay, so if you have any questions on what we did here, this is showing that response redirect and doing a little bit more tests on making sure that our URL patterns are working correctly. Um, this is These things are really nice concepts to know, but we're really, really close to having a fully working short code project. There's still other things we're definitely gonna do, just so you guys can see more about Django, but as far as if you were working and wanting to add this into your own project, you now know enough to actually build it into your own project, at least on a, on a scale that is useful. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.